Hello everybody. I'm Jan Pathat Puton, your teacher. Um, before we travel to uh, Bang Pui In Summer Palace, I would like to give you a little bit of background of the place. Okay, this is Bang Pui In Palace, located in Bang Pui In District, which is in uh, Pranakorn Si Ayutthaya Province. Uh, about 80 kilometers from Bangkok. This is just the basic information. So for your information, Ayutthaya was the former capital of the Kingdom of Thailand. Uh, it was between the periods of uh, 1350 until 1767 AD. Okay. So about yeah, 400 years ago. Uh, this is just a quick fact. Um, as we know, Ayutthaya is a province in the central regions of Thailand. Is it not of Bangkok? Um, it was the seat of the kingdom of Siam and a prosperous trading port. Uh, as I said, from the 14th century until it was conquered by the Burmese in the year 1767. And there are a lot of ruins, the old city ruin, with Buddhist temples, monasteries, statues, and, you know, old things, old stuff. Yeah, um, yeah this is Bang Pa In District. It's actually not far from my house, actually. This is the Bang Pa In District. And down here, you see Patum Thani and Uthai District. Uh, this is the Ayutthaya. You can see a tiny island here. This is the uh, Ayutthaya Island. So Bang Pa In, the Bang Pa In Royal Palace, known as the Summer Palace, is a palace complex, you know, formerly used by um, many Thai kings. Uh, it lies beside the Chao Phraya River in, as I said, Bang Pa In District, Panakorn Siyatiya province in Thailand. Very beautiful. A bit of history. The palace was built by one of the Ayutthaya kings, King Prasathong. It was rebuilt by King Mongkut after it had been abandoned for a long time. And the palace is divided into two zones, the inner zone and the outer zone. It is not known. Actually, the, the, the palace was abandoned, you know, was deserted. Um, it is not known whether or not the palace was in use until the fall of the Ayutthaya Kingdom in the year 1767 uh, from the record. For example, by 1807, when the kingdom best known poet, I think everybody know Sun Thon Pu, uh, he sailed past Bang Pa In and he note that only a memory of the palace remained and the site was neglected and overgrown. So the um, the present day royal palace, I mean Bang Pin Palace, uh, dates from the rise of King Jolalungkorn, and most of the buildings standing today were constructed between the period of eighteen seventy two to eighteen eighty nine. Uh, this is a bit of background to the place. So how far is it from Bangkok? Uh, it is around 60 kilometers or 30, not far, actually 37 miles from Bangkok. And it's very close to Ayutthaya. Well, how to get there? You can travel from Bangkok by boat. Actually, there's a, the Japaya River Cruise from the many, you know, five-star hotels or many hotels, <coughs> sorry, in Bangkok. You can um travel by boat 
a luxury boat actually from Bangkok to the palace. But it's quite costly. And you can actually uh, travel by car. I think it's the most convenient. You can take a van, you can take a bus, uh, you can take a train. Actually, I, I, I used to take uh, a train. I drove there, but I have never tried uh, taking a cruise along the Japaya River. Uh, many foreign tourists love to take a cruise. And how much does it cost to pay for the entrance fee? The entrance fee is not costly. Uh, it's 100 baht. Okay, it's, and it's open from 8.30 until 4.30 p.m. And the dress code is really particular. So if you are traveling there, you need to pay attention uh, to what you are wearing. But in summer palace in Yutuya, for the gentlemen, uh, you should wear pants down to your knees, cover and shoulders are covered. I make sure that they are covered. So you have to wear something appropriate and polite. For ladies, uh, of course, you can wear short pants or skirts like down to your knees, you know, covering your knees and shoulders. And your shoulders are uh, should be groomed, should be covered. And visitors in general are required to dress appropriately. So you have to be careful. Uh, you know, pay attention to what you're wearing and what to do and see. There are many attractions and many tourists love to go and visit, do and to see. Um, I would like to just to mention some of them. Number one is the Aisawan Tipaya Asana Royal Pavilion. Uh, this pavilion was built by King Mongkut or King Lama the fourth of the Chakri dynasty, uh, located at the middle of the palace basin. It is a copy of uh, Arpon Pimok Prasad Royal Pavilion in Bangkok and name the name followed by the first Royal Pavilion that built by King Prasad Thong himself. Remember King Prasad Thong built the Bangpi in Palace. And Ho Vitun Tassana, this is an observatory uh, built by King Lama the fifth or King Jula in the year 1881. This is an outlook tower, uh, viewing, you can see the surrounding countryside. So if you visit there, you can walk up to the tower. And Pra Tinang Na Weha Chamroon. Pra Tinang Weha Chamroon is a throne with beautiful Chinese art. So it's not far from the observatory, as you can see from the picture. If you go there, this is a Chinese style uh, throne hall. And this is a, what we call a gate, Tewa Aracha Kanlai. Tewa Aracha Kanlai gate, is a gate on top of the bridge that connects Bang Pai in uh, inner zone with the outer zone together. And yeah, it's a massive spot that you can take photographs. Wolo uh, Pat Piman Palace. This is a, I mean, the, the, the Greek style uh, palace uh, uh, was built for a royal ceremony or to welcome. Uh, royal guests, okay, uh, very beautiful. And Ho Hem Montian Teva Raja Tower. This is really significant because it's what built in the Khmer style by King Lama the Fourth or King Mongkut. In addition to, uh, in in honor to honor King Prasad Thong, the one who first built the palace. Thank you very much. I think that should be all that we have.